Welcome back to the three months of modal logics is equal to 100 days of logic with carneades.org. Today in logic 201, we're going to be looking at standard deontic logic as part of our series on deontic logic this October. In this video, we're going to be kind of looking at what is standard deontic logic, the basics, some of the axioms of this logic, and in the following videos, we're going to go more in depth. So standard deontic logic is the most commonly used and referenced version of deontic logic that you're going to find. All it's going to do is take the axioms that we've explored already so far and put them into a format that makes them kind of isomorphically related to the axioms of alethic modal logic. Before continuing forward, once again, I highly suggest you check out my video called Modal Logic Basics from the 100 Days of Logic. It's number 98 of the 100 Days of Logic. It's going to be really useful to compare alethic modal logic here with deontic logic. Deontic logic, just like alethic modal logic, is built on top of standard predicate calculus, and it's going to be meaningless without the basic logical rules that define classical logic. So you need to accept all of those other axioms, as well as standard deontic logic axioms, to build up deontic logic. Generally, standard deontic logic, or SDL for short, will add three things to our predicate calculus that we've built up so far. It's going to add an axiom K, axiom D and the necessitation rule. And if you've watched that video on alethic modal logic, these should look very familiar, but they're not going to be identical. They're going to be deontic versions of these, not alethic modal logic versions. From these three rules, we're going to be able to derive kind of the three rules of inference we had, the DEA, the OMA, and the DNC. If you don't know what those are, watch the previous videos on the deontic equivalence axiom, the omissibility of contradictions axiom, and the deontic non-contradiction axiom. Here are our three axioms then. So K is going to be it's obligatory that P implies Q implies that it's obligatory that P implies it's obligatory that Q. D is going to be it's obligatory that P implies it's not the case, it's obligatory that not P. And our necessitation rule is going to be if we can prove P just from the rules of logic, or if P is basically a tautology within the system, then it's going to be obligatory that P. If P can be proven in the system via the laws of logic alone, then P is obligatory. Don't worry if those didn't make sense right now. We're going to go more into depth into each of these laws in the following videos. So first off, we're going to look more into depth into axiom K in deontic logic. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org and a new video on modal logics every single day for 100 days here at Carneades.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.